Here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, your weather authority. It's right now about 12 minutes after 12. We have some uh, decent weather here on our new motors weather cam. We're looking south on Route 19 Peach Street there. And uh, we have uh, some fair weather clouds uh, that have developed typical uh, during uh, the springtime area. Uh, so uh, we have uh, some pretty decent uh, weather with uh, lesser clouds here along the lake shore, what we call the lake shadow. Uh, and we are looking at a nice afternoon overall, clouds or no clouds. Uh, now tonight uh, won't be as chilly as last night. A, we're a little warmer today, and that will allow for some uh, not as cold temperatures for tonight. Still some areas of frost expected. Going into the weekend, dry and mild. It looks like it will be warm for next week. Speaking of the weekend, we're looking at uh, generally partly sunny skies overall. Uh, temperatures uh, anywhere from 65 to 70. Uh, may hit a little more than 70 for Sunday. Overall dry conditions uh, for the day. Temperatures now uh, 62 in Fairview, 59 at the Penn State Barren. You can see there is some lake influence as Dr. Tom at Niagara Pier. He was at 52, dropping a bit to 51 now with that wind off the lake. French Creek at 57, uh, Summit has 58, 55 in McCain, 60 at Edinburgh, and uh, I believe uh, we have about 62 uh, over in uh, the Cory area, 62 in Sagertown, 64 in Meadville, and uh, temperatures upper 50s or lower 60s uh, with some clouds over in Warren County. So here we have a situation uh, similar to yesterday. Lots of sunshine. There's that lake shadow. The wind coming off the lake uh, stabilizes the air along the lake shore, and that's what gives us uh, that sunshine. Clouds, uh, though a little more prominent, uh, again, popping up here. Warren out toward uh, Oil City. Uh, looks like the lake shadow a little bit farther inland this time, and uh, that's going to be the case, I think, for the balance of today. So again, things are looking pretty nice out there. And uh, the future cast looking very much like yesterday. As you mentioned, slow moving systems, slow changes in weather. And uh, this high pressure, it's about as slow as you get. <laughs> it's inching toward the east. Now again, because the air is warmer today and uh, the nighttime air pretty much the same, uh, same type of uh, moisture and consistency will probably not be quite as chilly for tonight. And uh, tomorrow the high continues to build toward the east. And uh, any rain that does occur will be in the center part of the state. Uh, the uh, model's still trying to squeeze out a little bit there, but I just don't see it. And the high slowly moving toward the east on Saturday, but we are still well within its influence. And uh, again, showers here should probably stay away throughout uh, the day Sunday, though this warm front will gradually move northward. Uh, tough call as to whether or not it actually gets here on Monday, so we're going to just keep a chance of showers for the beginning of next week, and we will keep those temperatures on the warm side. So the forecast uh, as we head on uh, through the day, first here along the lake shore, lots of sunshine, mostly sunny skies, nice and pleasant along the lake front, temperatures only in the mid 50s, lower to mid 60s along that I-90 corridor. On the inland side, we'll have partly sunny skies and your temperatures mainly in the mid 60s. For the Chautauqua Lagania area, lower to mid 60s with sunshine and some of those puffy clouds. For tonight, Mostly clear, not quite as chilly, still a little frosty away from the lake, mid to upper 30s, low 40s along the lake shore. And sunshine, milder for tomorrow, highs in the middle to upper 60s. And from your weather authority, uh, we keep it dry for the weekend, may hit 70 or so on Sunday, and just a chance of some scattered showers Monday and Tuesday. But the trend, as you can see, 